Today I'm going to show you how to take these cheap IKEA pegboards and turn it into this. I made a simple IKEA pegboard charging station last year but did not film it. After using it for a year, I now know what works and what doesn't. So today we're going to build charging station 2.0 and more. You can use any pegboards, but I chose the IKEA ones because they're cheap and the only ones available here in India. Until recently, they were only available in white, and that's what I used last year. However, now they're also available in black. I do not like the pattern on the black, so I'm gonna spray paint everything anyway, including all of this stuff here. I bought the largest size available that was 76 by 56 centimeters, and I recommend you do the same. Now let's head outside and get spray painting. All right, so I'm back and I've painted the white IKEA boards with black flat acrylic paint and a whole lot of other accessories to go along with it. The interesting thing is that the black one that I bought with this pattern, I didn't need to paint it. And the reason being, the other side is perfectly flat black. So that saved a lot of paint. Now there are a ton of things that you can also get as accessories to hang your things on the, on the pegboards. However, most of them are white. There are a few things, very few that are available in black over here. Some of them even in gray. So I got a whole lot of accessories, as you can see, and painted all of this black. These little hooks, some larger hooks and baskets. I'll show them to you in a bit. What is it? You want to be in the video? Want to be in a video? Name is she. Come, go, go to mommy. All right. So the aim of today's video is to get all of this stuff, all these chargers onto the pegboard and make a version 2.0, along with some other accessories that I'll show you along the way. From past experience, I can tell you, you should not use the double-sided Velcros, the industrial Velcros to stick all of this stuff onto the pegboard because if you want to change its position from one place to the other, it's going to leave some residue and make a mess of the whole thing. The ideal thing I found was these Keman strips. I used to get them in white only, but now you get them in black as well, which is fantastic. You can easily peel them off and without leaving any kind of residue. You'll also use some cable ties and these are also cable ties, but Velcro cable ties. This will help us organize everything in the back of the board. There's one more thing that doesn't work, is these little cable holders. So they lose their sticking capacity after a while and just fall off and they're absolutely useless. So stick with the Velcro ties or the zip ties and that'll be perfect. In order to power everything, I got myself one of these power sockets with eight USBs and two USB-Cs and a whole lot of plugs. So there are a lot of things that need USB-C charging here, but there are also several that need these plugs that go in. So now let's put the pegboard on the table and lay out these charges in a way that is comfortable for us to charge everything. So we're gonna start with the power cord, right? My power supply is on my right over here on the wall. I'm gonna fix this, so this has to go on the right. I'm gonna position it such a way that all my cables can go straight out towards the back and then plug in my chargers here on the left, on the top, and over here on the side as well. The most common chargers that I use are the Canon batteries, right? These ones, and the NPF batteries, the Sony ones. So I have a couple of these and a couple of, couple of chargers for this. However, I need to make sure that the wire is long enough for it to come. And I wanna lay all of these ones on the left side over here. So I'll just set that up in a sec. The other thing you need to watch out for is that when you're plugging in these chargers, right? So they all plug in this way. Same with the NPF batteries that go in this direction. What you want to make sure is that this is facing your ceiling and this is facing the bottom of the ground. The reason why is because if you put it this way, this might peel off. With the cannon, it's not a big problem, but with these ones, if you put it sideways, because of the sheer weight of these massive batteries, this will just fall off, right? And you definitely don't want to put them this way because then the battery will slide off. So the ideal way is to put them like so. So the charging point is up and that's why it goes behind the pegboard over here on the top side. So you don't, so you see minimum cables. So for this one, the charging is down here. So you can put it down here. 
This is what I have so far. And I have a couple of interesting things that are also available from IKEA for the pegboard. It's this black magnetic bar that you can stick a whole lot of Allen keys to and little knickknacks. I'm gonna place that somewhere up high for my cables, which I have a ton of for all my lights and also these HDMI cables. I found something interesting. It's these curtain holders. You get them in black and different colors. So basically they go on the wall and then you can just, you know, open up the curtain and fix, hold them in there. So with a couple of screws over here, you can just fix them at the bottom of the pegboard. So just imagine like it's the bottom and I can put all my cables in there. I have a couple of these, I'll fit, put them in as well. I've got this battery pack that I always carry with me when I travel and I charge this, so this can sit in here. In this version, I also wanna put my V-mount charger in here. So I've gotta figure out how to do that. It's got a very large cable that goes up here. So maybe you need to move things around. I think that looks good for now. I'm sure of the position of where I want my power supply and the chargers. This, the rest of the stuff I can still move around and I don't need to use any of the come on strips or anything to make them permanent. I, I definitely recommend using the Velcro ties, this one or even longer ones to secure your chargers in place because you never know when due to the weight of the batteries, the command strip might give way and it might fall and you don't want to drop your batteries or your chargers. So I'm just going to secure all of this in place right now. So I highly recommend you put in these knobs that they have provided before you set everything up on the board. So now to see how things look, I've just mounted the pegboard on two light stands and if I'm happy with everything, if I need to change anything, I can still do it. Just remember, you need to be practical about this. The other reason why I mounted it on the stands is so that I can do the cabling behind. It's much easier when it's already standing vertically. Now, once I'm done with that, I can put it on the wall. Now, I would love <laughs> if my wall was black matte, like this black background paper that I have behind this, but my wall is white currently. I do plan to paint it black, and that's when this really looks great. This is gonna be a black pegboard on a white wall for now. All right, let me get the wiring done. All my chargers plugged in except for this one i'm waiting for the black cable to come for this it's a usb mini cable the rest are all done and it looks good to be i still need to plug in my vmon battery charger but that'll go not into this but into the main wall socket once this is on the wall i think this looks good for these cables at the back i'm going to use my zip ties punch them all together and then reach the power i'll show you a shot of that once it's done so it's time to hang this one and then move on to the next one I'm going to place one here and the next one's going to come above. The only thing that I feel is currently inconsistent is the color of these ones. These are gray compared to the matte black. So I'll just take a paintbrush and the acrylic black paint and just cover them up. Some touch-ups here and there will also be required where, for example, maybe you scratched a bit or the, peel, the paint peeled off on one of these items, then you can just with the paintbrush touch them up as well. So now for the next board, all I'm going to do is mount this extension cord from my, my last year's charging station. I'm going to mount it on the side over here with the cable coming out of the bottom because this pegboard is going to go on top of that one. In that one, I just had four sockets. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five extra and a couple of USBs as well. This board is going to have the attachments of hooks and these long clamps to mount different items which I need while regularly shooting, like remotes and stuff like that. Finally, it's all done. Up here, I have items that I use regularly. Below that, I have some tape, scissors, containers, mounting plates for my camera. Here I have my drone, some Allen keys, all the chargers, baskets, and more containers with batteries. And finally, my cables and reflector on the curtain holders, which is so useful. All right, there you have it. That's charging station 2.0. Now with the other two pegboards, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these small hooks, like so, as you saw, and the other one as well. And I'm gonna put this behind my metro rack. 
So all the little stuff that I have in there, I can just hang in place. So I've got another drone, I'll put the drone over here and so on and so forth. I don't think I need to show you all of that. I'll post a picture later on, on the YouTube. And um, go on, try this. Make your own charging station. It's really useful in the studio. You just come and put all your batteries, recharge them, switch one button and turn everything off and it's done. And you're ready to move on to the next shoot after that. Even when I'm traveling, I just grab everything from here and I just move on out. Well, that's it for this one. I have a ton of DIY stuff on my YouTube channel. Check it out. And uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.